Hey guys, this is Peter with GoodyReader.com, and if you haven't read the title of the video above, this is the Pocketbook Inkpad X unboxing. We are going to take this plastic off before we show you the specs because the specs are buried uh, beneath some plastic. And I have my trusty tool here to um, get this open. And actually, since the last video, I still haven't brought in a uh, blade of any kind. I'm still using this little pokey thing, and no one seems to know what it's called. I believe it to be called an awl, um, but they're usually more blunt. This one's actually quite sharp. So, if that wasn't uh, off topic enough, here is the Inkpad X. And you can read some specs here. You can pause the video at any time. There's so many languages, and it's gray on black, it's hard to read, so I'll read some of them off. It's 1872 by 1404, 10.3 inches. This is not a capacitive slash Wacom note-taking device at 10.3 inches. It is simply a capacitive touch. There is no note-taking on this in terms of Wacom. However, there is a pretty decent uh, note-taking experience with capacitive styluses, which we will show you in the review. I don't know how this one particularly will do, but other pocketbooks have this scribble option and it seems to be doing all right. This is the Inkpad X. We are going to explore the box for, oh my gosh, that is so light. Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show that in a second. That's, wow, that was really light actually. I was expecting it to be a lot more bulky and heavier, but it wasn't. So let's open up this. We have the USB, what are we working with here actually? I've never opened this up, USB-C. Oh look, they have a, finally a USB-C dongle because they haven't used USB-C on previous devices. So they never needed the audio dongle to accommodate because they've always had micro. And here's the USB uh, cable, nicely wrapped. Throw that away. What else do we have? We have the uh, startup guide and we should have that red thing that says don't drop it. Uh, they usually have them. There it is. Yeah. So, uh, warranty card. You have, um, well, don't throw it in the garbage bin, I believe. Unless they mean don't recycle it at all. Uh, I can't really read German. The symbol, the discouragement, uh, no idea. Alright, quick start guide and the hello thing that, I love this thing, look. It says my life with a cover and without a cover. Chilling on the beach versus being broken in half by the waist and being... Uh, stricken to hospital um, equipment and the quick start guide we're just going to show you the English because there is 19 languages including Moldovian which is awesome because pocketbook is a very international friendly company pause the video at any point in time if you lose your quick start guide in English otherwise here I'll flip through real quick okay done all right let's look at the device itself because that's why we are all here today Wow that is lightweight for sure. I am going to crack this open on camera here. And, come on. Wow, look at that. Look at this little chisel at the bottom. A nice 15 degree cutout angle there. This is all made from Pocketbook. This isn't um, uh, white labeled or outsourced from some generic uh, shell you know, manufacturer. Look at that too. These vertical lines are very nice and the embossed uh, pocketbook reflective logo as well. I'm not sure what those are. They might be speakers. I haven't read the book yet or anything. Nothing on this side and nothing on the top. And the bottom you have USB-C and a status indicator light and it is made in China. So this is the Inkpad X and everything that comes along with it. If you guys have any questions, comments or concerns, let us know. And again, um, we've had over, uh, I don't know, 12 years of business and uh, probably 10 years of YouTube and 2200 videos. And people still ask why I don't turn it on because this is an unboxing video. And uh, we will turn it on for the first time on camera in the full review. So for goodyreader.com and a unboxing of the Inkpad X by Pocketbook, this is Peter.